365 with Jacques Jacques Howard. Howard. Profiling the businesses, organizations, and people that make Trenton better. Hello, friends, and welcome to Trenton to the Trenton 365 show. I'm your host, Jacques Howard. You are listening to us live over WIMG 1300 on the AM dial. Also streaming over our website, WIMG1300.com. You can also follow us over Facebook and Twitter as well, WIMG 1300. The Trenton 365 show has a Facebook page, which has followers in over 70 countries. So thank you for that. And you can follow us there. We're also on Twitter as well, at Trenton 365. And and, uh, there's lots of other things happening with Trenton 365, such as Library Boxes of Trenton, Lifestyle by Amon's Brindled, and other partnerships that I'm involved with, such as Regis Jazz and a host of other things. I'm waiting on my guest. I hope that he is okay. Will Caso Condry, uh, who is an aerosol artist, a graffiti artist, a street artist, some people like to say, but I like to say a graffiti fine artist. Uh, Will Caso, you can find more information by just doing an internet search for his name, Will, W I L L. K-A-S-S-O. Now, Will Koss is doing lots of things uh, in the central New Jersey region and beyond with art as far as offering educational programs, um, teaching art to adults and children as well. But he's also the executive director and founder of Sage Coalition, and the website is sagecoalitionnj.com. I believe it's a .com, yes. So you can find out more information there about him. Um, in a later broadcast, I will also have Leon Rainbow, who's been on the show multiple times as well. Uh, LeonRainbow.com is his website. He is also an aerosol artist, and uh, together they are putting on the 11th annual the 11th annual Jersey Fresh Jam, which is going to take place on the weekend of August 5th and 6th. Yes, I have that correct. August 5th and 6th uh, here in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, and the jam itself is an all-day event, a free event to attend with live music, um, vendors, food trucks, and also, of course, aerosol art and uh, art being made there. And that takes place at TerraCycle, which is located on... Um, Pennsylvania Avenue, I believe, but you'd have to check that out. TerraCycle, T-E-R-R-A-C-Y-C-L-E, -E, and shout out to Tom Zaki, who's been on the show to talk about uh, his global corporation that's based out of Trent, New Jersey as well. So that is TerraCycle.com. So in the interim, what I want to do is talk to you about a bunch of different things, and uh, mainly to send out some encouragement to the folks who are out there um, who may be in the midst of some type of a struggle. Um, we are all involved in peaks and valleys in our lives. That is exactly what life is. It would be great if it was linear and up towards the right, like uh, most accountants and bottom end people like to have you say. Day. But life isn't that way. There's peaks and valleys. There's times when you're in the mountains and there's times when you're low in the valley and, and you're hurting. I want to send some encouragement out to you and say, hey, keep the faith. Be strong. Find out who you are as a, as a person at the very core. That may take some work. You may not find that overnight. But I encourage you to do that. And I encourage you to do that and to use those opportunities um, to gain that wisdom so that you can move on and realize that there is no other reason or there is no need for you to do anything outside of that. Know that there are people around you, um, that things are never that bleak, that there are people who are willing to work with you, there are people who are willing to pray for you and to pray with you and to assist you. That's one of the wonderful things that we have here, um, not only in America, but as human beings in general. So please reach out for that support system. Um, I'd love to chat with you if that's what you need. Uh, you can send me an email, trenton365show at gmail.com. I'm not saying that I'm that person, but I'm sure together we can find out, find someone who can assist you with whatever it is that you need. Um, and I'm only speaking to you this, speaking this to you because of personal experience. Um, oftentimes, uh, I like to tell folks that I share my experiences in an effort to make life easier for everyone uh, who hears it or listens. And sometimes that's very difficult. And sometimes that's difficult to the capacity of, I don't want to do it. I mean, sometimes I'd rather not share what I'm feeling. And I know that other people feel that way as well. But here's what I am, I want to share with you. Um, most people know about my background um, in the garment industry and uh, working for corporate America. But uh, I had some health issues. And uh, because of those health issues, I had to leave corporate America. During that time when I had left corporate America, I went through that complete retrenching, uh, restructuring of my life, trying to reconsider all the choices and decisions that I've made. 
um, upon doing that, realized that, hey, there's a lot of things, just like that onion, that needs to be unwrapped and unraveled and, and to figure out so you can get to the core of those problems. And I've done that. Uh, subsequently, life doesn't stop there. I mean, the whole world just doesn't stop on your time so that you can figure out what you need to do so that you can correct things. And now it's a process of catching up. And I believe that that is just the traditional cycle of life. So what I'm suggesting and telling you is that I have been there and I have experience of lots of different peaks and valleys. And I want you to be encouraged and want you to know that you've got an advocate. You've got someone who is willing to chat with you, talk with you, listen to you, share my own experiences and uh, to do it so that we can all develop and become better people. And then again, become better people for the community, develop a better community, a better city, a better state, a better country, and a better world, and so forth. So I want you to keep that in mind. Again, you can send me an email, trenton365show at gmail.com. Uh, in addition to that, I will be scheduling lots of different, what I'm calling them is conversations with Jacques-Pierre Howard. There's a Facebook page that will be uh, has been launched, but more information will be up on that. Let's chat conversations with Jacques-Pierre Howard, and there you can meet with me in a safe private setting, or a public setting, should I say, and groups of other people, and we're just going to talk about stuff. We're going to talk about things and get these things off of our chest in a safe environment, because I believe that the way that we can build a better community is by recognizing and hearing and listening to other people. And uh, once we do that, there's really good chance that all of us are, go are going to change our, our perspectives. So again, you can reach out to me, Trenton365show at gmail.com, and uh, we can go from there as far as the Let's Chat with Jacques-Pierre Howard and anything else that you need. We're up on a short break, and we'll be back. You're listening to the Trenton365 Show, heard over WYMG 1300. And if you're watching, it's over WPHY, Channel 25, serving all of Mercer County, New Jersey. We'll be back after a short break. George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. Call now, 800-974-3927. 800-974-3927. That's 800-974-3927. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Trenton 365 Show. I'm your host, Jacques Howard. In the studio with me is Will Caso Condry and his beautiful daughter, Sierra, who I haven't seen in several months. And I was shocked when she walked into the studio. And uh, she's, to me, she's six feet tall and growing. <laughs> but uh, I did the monologue a little bit earlier. So Will Caso Condry is an artist. Uh, he's also um, a community organizer. 
He's also a planner, executive director of the Sage Coalition, website sagecoalitionnj.com, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, Will's, he's also an activist. Um, he's been doing lots of different things for many years. Um, born and raised here in Trenton, New Jersey, and is still here in Trenton doing lots of things, but also abroad. Mm-hmm. But I want to jump in and talk to his lovely, what he likes to say, his mini-me first. Mm-hmm. Um, Sierra, first of all, thanks for coming on to the program with your dad. No problem. And uh, I want you to just share a little bit, a little bit about you and about your art, because I hear that you are doing some amazing things with art. Um, well, I like, I like to sketch, not really painting. I'm not like, I don't like getting messy, but I like, (laughs) I like to, um, like sketch a lot. Like, and like when I get really like frustrated, like it just like calms me. And like, I just draw whatever I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. And you're 14? Yes. You're 14 years old. Going on 15. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm mm-hmm. sure your dad would probably say 14 going on a bit more, but mm-hmm. but, we'll, but we'll talk about that at a, another time. So growing up um, in, I don't want to say the shadows, but growing up seeing your father do all these wonderful things with art and being involved in the community, what has that meant to you? I mean, he's kind of like a role model, cause like, <laughs> but like, how can I say it? Like a really, my dad as a role model, like, like he's starting new things and like a lot of people are joining in is like like it makes me want to start doing things when I get older as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad you said that because I think oftentimes people don't realize that mm-hmm. the examples that they live in their day to day lives, especially when young people are around, they're watching. Mm-hmm. So you're seeing all the things that your dad is doing, um, all the moves that he's making, yeah. the difference that he's making in the community, as well as perfecting his craft. And now you're seeing that, so you're learning all those different techniques, the discipline, how you handle with, how you deal with people, and all those other things. How do you think that's going to translate, or how has it translated to you in your life, like in school and stuff? Um, I mean, like, educational-wise, okay, but like, <laughs> <laughs> art-wise, like in art class, I just, every time I talk about art, it's always about my dad or like his like coalition, like CH coalition, it's all about that. I like, in like math class stuff, I don't really mention him because like, it's, it's not on the same base, but like in art class, everything's about him when I mention it, like anything art related is all about my dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, so the respect and admiration that you have for your dad is the same with his occupation as it would be if he had any other occupation totally Mm -hmm. there's the answer mic drop that's it (laughs) nothing else to add to it yeah i mean my dad this is what he does and i love what he does and and hey he's he's awesome at it and um i want you to know that i mean from a friend of your father's Mm -hmm. and i mean i've known you for for many years um your dad is doing amazing things not just here because in this day and age i mean you you know about technology and so forth yeah he's global He's all over the world. People recognize his work. He has friends and business partners and things all over the world. So your father is part of that new generation of people who are helping to shape and mold the world that you and my daughter, who's around your age, are going to inherit. So a lot of people don't understand this and don't want to to accept it. But straight up to the camera, I'm going to tell you, folks, History is being made right now, every single day. Mm-hmm. Now, you can be a part of that history, or you could be making history. And that's what I'm all about as, as far as documenting it, bringing people in, sharing these wonderful people who are helping to make the world a better place. And, and that's what it's all about. Sierra, thank you very much for that. No problem. Casa, that's got to feel good, man. It feels good, man. You know, it's my baby. Even though she's a young lady now, it's still my baby. So it feels good. It feels good to be appreciated by the ones close to you. <laughs> well, let, let's stay on that vein. We'll, so yeah. we'll, st- we'll start off um, talking about something that may be considered a little testy or mm-hmm. borderline. Mm-hmm. And that is being appreciated mm-hmm. for, what, for what you do. You know, um, if I worried about what people thought of me, whether it be a business personal or whatever if i thought if i put all my energy into trying to please everyone i would not be doing what i'm doing my thing is that i tell everyone is that you know if we're going to brag and talk ego i can 
I can chop it up with the best of them. You know, I've done a lot of things and I'm very aware of my reputation, but I don't let it cloud the overall mission. You know, it's a lot of things I'm doing that I'm still figuring out as I go. I experiment a lot. You know, um, I try new things. I don't like to just stick to just one thing because it works well. It's like you got to keep testing because, you know, the world is moving very fast and we have to evolve with it. Sometimes that means doing something you're not familiar with or adjusting to rules and regulations that you're not used to. You know, we have to continue to grow as artists and as business people, and that change can be uncomfortable. Some people don't get it and they remove themselves from situations, Other, and then new people come in. So it's a, it's a constant, it's, it's constantly revolving, you know? And um, you just have to just adapt to it. You know, I don't try to do anything that that is that I don't I don't produce art that makes me. Um, how can I say it? That makes me feel that I'm selling out or doing something that's not that goes against what I believe in. You know, 95 percent of what I do comes from the heart. The other five percent is, is straight commercial work for the money so I could pay my bills and support my family, you know. But um and I and that even I'm working on getting it hundred percent doing what exactly what I want to do. You know, and um I think it's difficult for any artist to to, you know, to have that, you know, that confidence to keep you going through the, the bad times. When everything's great when everything's going great, everybody's happy. But when things aren't going as smooth, that's when, you know, I, that's when you realize who really has your back is when things aren't great, when things are falling, then you realize who's there to catch you. But the one thing that I've done is I've always found a way to rebound no matter what my back was against. The people that I, you know, hang around, they've been through very similar, if not worse, situations than I've been in. So it's a relatability there. It's like, okay, we can talk and, and, and figure out a plan to keep moving forward. Everybody's not going to get that. Even people who you've known for years and been around you for years, they aren't going to understand that. You know, and the thing—the only thing I can do is show you what I'm doing. If you want to be a part of it, come on. If come on down. If not, best of luck to whatever you're doing. But I don't have time to sit here and hold hands and convince people about, you know, where I'm looking to go. Just try to keep up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, it's like you know, being an artist is very difficult. It's not the easiest way to make a living. It's not the easiest way to live. But I wake up every morning knowing that I got another chance to do exactly what I want. And not everyone doesn't have that. So I'm very blessed to be able to do what I do. But I also work very hard. You know, I don't, you know, I may come in late for some certain things, <laughs> but believe me, there's always a reason. And nine times I tell them I'm coming with pain on me because I've been working. I'm working. And like when I'm working, I forget to eat. I forget to call people. I forget to do a lot of things because I'm working. But the thing about it, if you want to find me, you know where I'm at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not hard to find me, man. I'm, I'm, I always say the only addiction I've ever had was art, and it's the most productive addiction you will ever have. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, I, and I remember you saying that on a few occasions. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm glad to consider you a friend. I'm yeah, glad for, for what you're doing. And, you know, I always will support you in your efforts because yeah. I think that not only are you doing wonderful mm. work that mm. is visually stimulating but it's also mentally and spiritually stimulating yeah. and as i led into we're talking with sierra mm -hmm. you're helping to shape mm. the future yeah and you've and you're documenting the history of what you've been doing yeah. for many years so it's unfortunate that a lot of times you know the the financial rewards aren't there no. immediately yeah but you are going to make, well, you are making an impact, yeah. but you're going to make a, a, a continue to make an impact going forward. Yeah. You know, you mentioned a couple of things. Mm -hmm. um, being genuine. Yeah. Can you just elaborate on that a bit? I think that's just being, well, being genuine. It's like, for I always, specifically for artists, you know, regardless of whatever medium you work in, I always tell them, like, I've been doing this a very long time. I've been painting well over 20 years. You know, I've been producing art since I was, before I he was in kindergarten. I've always had an interest in art. And as I got older, it's just gotten stronger. It didn't, I tried to leave this alone. I tried not to become an artist. You know, I did everything that was possible, but I kept with it. And the thing I tell a lot of artists is that if, you, if you're not true to what you're producing in whatever medium you're producing it in, if you're not true to the craft, it will show. 
It will show. It, it may take years. You may have you may garner a, a reputation that is untouchable, but your work will tell the truth about you. If it's genuine, it will show. If it's not, it will show. But you have to be real about what you're producing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense, but you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I understand what you're yeah. saying, and I think that you also mentioned it when you said that you've got a percentage mm -hmm. of your work that's commercial work. Yeah, and, and then, then you, you got, got a percentage that's coming straight from the heart. The, the stuff that I do for me, I do for me. If it sells, that's great. If not, I'm doing it for me. Then you have work out there that, hey, kid like to eat. She got needs. She has things that some of these people aren't going to buy into my vision. That's great. But you're going to buy into something. And if you want me to produce something for you, then this is what it costs. There's a lot of stuff out there in the city that you've probably seen that you had no idea that I probably even done or had a hand in. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do. You know, we're coming from a, a city that has a very limited economy for anything, mm -hmm. let alone arts. You know, so we have to work within that. You know what I'm saying? I tell everyone, you know, when I tell people, when people ask me, like, what made you pursue art for a living? I was like, well, I had a daughter. My, she was only a year, not even two, when I decided to go into this because I was, I hated my jobs. I, jobs. I had a few jobs and I hated every one of them. So I, any opportunity I had to produce art while I was at that job, I took full advantage of, even if it risked me losing my job. And that's what happened. I did something at this one particular place I was employed at that almost got me arrested because I was producing art there. And that's when I was like, you know what? It's time to go. And I, that was in 2003. And I've been full-time ever since. So I don't make excuses anymore. I just find other opportunities for me to produce my artwork. You know what I'm saying? And if people have a problem with that or if, if people don't get that, I don't have the time to convince you. I've been doing this now consistently for 14 years, 13, 14 years. If you don't get it by now, you know, I'm not slowing down or stopping for anyone. You know, like I tell everybody, my daughter is the reason that I pursue this. The only person I got to answer to is her. She's the only one that's allowed to call my phone repeatedly and, and, and you know, and, and just for whatever. No one else gets that, that privilege because I don't, I don't hold no one's hands. I don't even hold her hand anymore. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that for anyone if you're under the age of 14. <laughs> well, you know, over the age of 40, I'm sorry. But, well, um, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and I'm glad you're, you're being candid. I mean, that, that's one of the things that I appreciate about yeah. our conversations. Because yeah, it's man. always very much, hey, look, we're going to have this conversation. Yeah. And it's nice that we can do it in a forum like yeah. radio and in television so that people can actually see the emotion yeah. and, and understand exactly what you're expressing. And I encourage people, look. Part of developing a better community for everyone and the whole buy local campaign and supporting the arts and all those things, that's not necessarily always done through an organization that has, uh, you know, a large executive director, a big building, all those other things. I mean, that has mm. its place. But true art development is the passion that's behind it. And if you didn't hear it in what Casa was saying, I suggest that you re-listen to this yeah. or reach out to him and have that 30-minute conversation and have him express genuinely what he's thinking and what he's feeling. Yeah. Because we have, a, we have an amazing opportunity with the art that's here to really make a difference, not only in this region economically, but to also... And let me back up. If, if people think about like um, the Mona Lisa mm -hmm. and some of those things... That was a person who did that. Yeah. And at the same time, we've got people here now who are producing work that could be like that. Yeah. I think the I think the the problem with Trenton particularly is that, you know, it really works from the top down. You know, the city does not support the arts as they should. And I don't care who that offends, it's the truth. It's the fact that I was in Oakland last summer, right? And um, there's a group out there that I paint with called the Community Rejuvenation Project. And they work very similar to SAGE. That's what drew me to them. I got the connection um, through Leon Rainbow. So when I was out there and I connected with these groups, you know, they were telling me, I was like, you know, we were out there paying walls, but they were pretty much just kind of pro bono stuff. So I was like, you know, I'm out here on vacation to some extent on tour. How do you guys make money? They said, well, we do programming, you know, the city supports our after-schools program, whatever, whatever. 
So it's like, wasn't well, that the same way as in Trent? I was like, no, the city doesn't support anything we do. All our support comes from other nonprofits, you know, and that's another problem because there is no tax base. It's very difficult to have legitimate for-profit art businesses in Trent. There are a few exceptions, but you know, and plus it's a small town, all these other things. But I was like, with the way the arts have been rising over the past 10 years, you would think by now that there would be a little bit more support for what we do. We're the only positive press that comes out of this city, mm -hmm. you know, but there is none. But me being a working artist, I don't have time to convince others of what I'm looking to do or what I'm trying to do. I'm just doing it. And again, if the city doesn't support, that's not going to stop me. If, if I have an issue with other members, that's not going to stop me because I'm telling you what I'm going to do it. What I'm doing, I'm going to do it because I'm not the only one that benefits from the work that I'm doing. I let a lot of stuff go and put to the side to do the type of stuff that I do because I know the ripple effect it can have. You know, when you're preparing for huge events like we do, like Windows of Soul, it takes months of prep. You know, it just you just don't show up the day of and do your thing. That's for the people who are performing or painting. But for someone like me, I have to prep for months to make this happen and other members as such it's not just me but i dedicate a ton of my energy and time to giving back to my community and i don't have much i mean my daughter will tell you i don't have much but i share everything i have and if that's not good enough so be it i'm not here to make new friends or keep old ones mm -hmm. i'm here to keep moving forward and who's ever ready to move let's move you know and i don't have time to sit here and convince people oh well if we, if we wait Five years and we can do it this. No, we're doing this right now. And so in five years, we don't have to work this hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's very difficult to relay that to people who have other, um, you know, obligations or other commitments. Sage, you know, our nonprofit, is, you can't make a full-time living from it. But it can provide you opportunities to keep you moving forward in your craft. And that's all, that's all I can provide is an opportunity for you to do something with your work. And if that's not good enough, then keep doing what you're doing. I don't wish you any in ill will or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have time to sit here and keep explaining what I've been doing consistently for the past 10 plus years professionally. Mm -hmm. And if, like I said, man, it's like you, you get to a point in your career where I garner a lot of attention and I'm very appreciative of that. I, I love everyone who supports what I'm doing. I mean, it's what keeps you going, really. The money is just the, you know, the icing on the cake. But really, it comes from the support, from the genuine support that people like, yo, I love what you're doing. Or, you know, my kid is into art because of what you guys are doing. Or my group started a nonprofit organization in our town based on your model. That's enough to keep you moving. Like, yeah, it's working. Even if people around me don't get it, there's a big world, man. And I've been lucky to see a lot of the country outside of the country built with artists from all over the globe. And again, for me, it's about those new experiences. I always say I go wherever my art takes me, you know, but at the same time, I'm not going to let anyone hold me back, period. If I know that this is going to help benefit myself, my community, my family, I'm going to take it regardless if you get it or not. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. And, uh, and and switch gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to say happy birthday publicly. Oh, thank you, man. It's yeah. been a week, but it's all good. <laughs> I haven't seen you. So, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. so happy birthday. You, and uh, there's some awesome images of you. Uh, I think that's what they yeah. plan. Uh, I, I think um, um posted oh, somewhere. Oh, my God. He, he Yo. plans on you looking like that in about 15 years. Yeah, um put the Don King Castle out there, <laughs> making Trenton great again and all that. Yo, um, I've known that I've known Dave Arantes probably for about twelve years now. He's one of my closest friends. So some people reached out to me. It's like, yo, that doesn't offend you. I was like, no, I think it's. I have a huge sense of humor. Like the best, the best comedy is when you can laugh at yourself. And so we're talking about actually running those into like making T-shirts out of them and like go like with the whole campaign season. You know, like I told people, I was like, I plan on doing like this this mock campaign, but I'm not running for anything. I'm just running. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but they're I, funny, man. People will buy that. You know, yeah. um, and, and I don't. I want to make sure that we talk about Jersey Fresh Game, yeah. which is coming up August fifth and sixth. But Leon had said something at one opening. Is, is he supposed to come here tonight? He should be here in a okay, little bit. Cool. But uh, he was saying uh, a couple of years back. <laughs> He was saying something about Leon Rainbow for president. I think that you and him oh, yes. ought, to, ought to battle each other this this November. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Leon, yeah. He could be <laughs> Hillary. I could be Donald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be funny. Like, 
It would be hilarious. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to talk to Leon about that. Maybe we should do like a pop up art show or something. I think it would be coincide fantastic. With it. Yeah. fantastic. And, All the merch, the hats, the t-shirts, yeah. everything. And see, well, that, hold on. I want to yeah. cut you off because we got one minute left. Just talk yeah. about Jersey Fresh yeah. Jam real quick. Yeah, um, Jersey Fresh. Um, Jersey Fresh Jam. This is our 11th year. And uh, it's going to be crazy, man. This is probably the most controversial year, I would say, just because of some of the attention that we've been getting. Mainly from the um, the music aspect of it. We go through it every year with the graffiti writers. Somebody gets mad, they can't get this spot, whatever. But we've never had it publicly happen with the music aspect of it. Then that went viral and it got back to me. And that's when I had to put out my little every now and then ran on Facebook, letting people know how Jersey Fresh started and what's involved in keeping this going. It's a free event. This is 11 years. It's a hip hop festival. And I don't think people realize how difficult it is to maintain an event of this magnitude that started off very humbly just with a few guys with a case of beer and a wall and it's grew over the years so it takes a lot and um it's going to be amazing man 50 plus graffiti writers about 15 musical acts you know it's family friendly open to the public from i believe it start for, at, from noon to seven fantastic yeah it's a good, fantastic. It's a good time yeah i gotta cut you off boss so nah. we'll bring you back will casso Condry, yeah uh information sage coalition nj.com or will casso just com. the internet search yeah. you can find him sierra is always lovely lady nice to see you again you've been listening to the trenton 365 show and watching over wphy channel 25 in mercer county we'll be back after a short break thanks yeah. Are you at least 62 years old like me? Could you use an extra fifty, dollars $100,000 or more to live a better life? Then please consider the benefits a reverse mortgage can provide to you. With a reverse mortgage, you can have your mortgage payments stopped altogether and get equity out of your home to live on. And you can use the money to help you live a better life. How nice would that be not to have a mortgage payment? Qualifying for a reverse mortgage is simple, since there are no income, asset, employment, or credit requirements. However, you must be 62 years or older, own your home outright, or have a very low balance on the mortgage, and be prepared to live in it throughout the rest of the loan. Call now for more information. 800-831-1560. 800-831-1560. That's 800-831-1560. Iraq, Afghanistan. For our troops, the war on terror means multiple deployments and grievous losses. 400,000 diagnosed with PTSD. How can you give hope to these heroes, the troops who fight for your freedom? Through MilitaryBibleStick.com and a digital player that's preloaded with the audio New Testament. Thank you for providing the Bible in this format. It was just the tool I needed to continue my walk with God 